Dubai's Grand National. And they're just uh, milling around, being asked to prepare to get into some sort of order. Another uh, colour problem uh, developed a moment ago with uh, Donny Hassett losing his cap. And uh, if our cameras can pick him up, he's just standing beside his horse now, having, uh, having that red cap uh, reattached. He's number four, in fact. He's been just going around there in his skull cap, but the, uh, the cap retrieved. It's being reattached now. And uh, so he'll be getting aboard again in a moment. The star there on the back of uh, Tacroy, very easy to, to distinguish there. There is uh, Eliogati and uh, Donny Hassett, re-equipped again in his correct colours. You'll notice that this uh, Irish ex-pointer pointer, Hunter Chaser, wearing protective boots. That's another captain just behind him. In the foreground, Corbier, the 83 hero, is dismounted by Ben Dehan. He's got 12 stone to carry, of course, this time, and Ben keeping the weight off his back for as long as possible in the foreground. If we can stay where we are just for a moment, there's Fortune Seeker. Now, Fortune Seeker, for the benefit of my colleagues out in the country, the yellow colors and the brown sleeves, if you're looking at it in color, that's also a change of colors. Instead of uh, a yellow cap with a star, it's a yellow cap with spots. and looks uh, quite different there. That's Ashley House. Looks very like Beach King, but Beach King has got a star. Ashley House, one of the two representatives of Michael Dickinson. And the grease paint, one of three. Getting very warm, too, you'll notice. Grease paint, with a, one of three with a sheepskin nose band with halved colors that uh, it's a useful pointer to. It's a very relaxed horse, normally. Uh, Dermot Weld was telling me this morning that uh, he, was, he was lying down sound asleep uh, when his lad uh, went in to see him and uh, he's been up been here for a couple of days three days now in fact he's looked marvelous out at work a real racehorse he looks that's Spartan missile who's already come so near second with 11-5 in 81 now carrying 11-4 and uh, John White looking very relaxed that's uh, Nicky Henderson his trainer with him 23 there is Alan Brown on uh, the drunken duck the 1982 Cheltenham Fox Hunters Chase winner, and his owner represented also by um, Roman General, who carries the second colours, uh, brown and gold corded cap. And there's Givago de Nervi. Givago de Nervi and uh, Sir Roger Grand, his uh, owner, trainer, rider, this sporting bid by this uh, French duo his first time here of course Roger Grand he's won 17 races little horse real bonny little horse this um, he's, a, he's a stayer but whether you have the pace to stay with him early on that remains to be seen well now let's take this chance to bring you up to date with the latest betting well Grease Paint has been drifting Grease Paint the favorite 11 to 1 now Lucky Vane and Broomy Park are 12 to 1 Eliogati, Gritar and Hello Dandy are 14s and on 16 to 1 Corbier and Spartan Missile Ashley House is 18 to 1, a feathered friend 20s, Burnt Oak and Your Man 25 to 1, and on 28 to 1, two of them, Midnight Love and Two Swallows. Tackroy, Silent Valley, Carl's Wager, Earth Stopper and Pilot Officer are all 33 to 1. On 40 to 1, Hill of Slain and Bush Guy. On 50 to 1, four of them, Falloon, Imperial Black, Beach King and Midday Gun. Jacko, 66 to 1, so is 3 to 1, 66 to 1. I hope that doesn't confuse you. 3 to 1 is 66 to 1, and Zhivago de Nervi also on 66 to 1. Another captain, Canford Ginger and Clonthurton, and Doorstep, Double Again, Fortune Seeker, Golden Tricks, and Kumbi, Points Pass, and the Drunken Duck, all 100 to 1. On 150 to 1, Hazy Dawn, and Roman General is... 500 to 1 and incidentally grease paint has just come into 10 to 1 and that is Falloon and Bill Smith Bill riding in his 11th and last national 
So this his farewell ride, he's 35, he retires and joins the International Racing Bureau at the end of the season. And Falloon, of course, trained by Fulk Walwyn, who won this in 1964 with Team Spirit and won it so many years ago on Reynolds Town. Well, they're being called in now. Being called in towards the start at John Frankham, right over on the near side on Grittar with Hazy Dawn, the only mare right upside him, and Jim Wilson sneaked up on his inner there on uh, Brummy Bank. There are a few still out of the back, so... Uh, they won't be off just for a moment. They're, they're being called in on the far side now. Valerie Aldar on Bush Guide, the only go right over the far side. She's going to plough a lone farrow by the look of it. The grey, two swallows, is over on the far side as well. And that's it. They're under starter's orders. And they're off. And running down towards the first. And Hill of Slane, one of the first to show in the centre. Gridar on the inside, chased by Corbier. Imperial Black is right up there with them, but it's Gridar on the near side, with also well up there, Drunken Duck in the centre of the course, right over the far side, running fast is Midday Gun, with also Burnt Oak, Burnt Oak on the far side, and on the near side, Gritar. Corbier's just in behind Gritar. they're racing down towards the first, Imperial Black in the centre, and big join John Hanmer. Burnt Oak on the wide outside from Midday Gun, who's jumped it successfully this year. A bad mistake by Roman General, but I can't see a faller at the first as they jump the second. It's Burnt Oak from Golden Tricks, then Midnight Gun, then Bush Guide, then Earth Stopper, Two Swallows, Spartan Missile, then comes Ashley House, and I haven't seen a faller at the second either. And Burnt Oak and Golden Tricks, Golden Tricks the first to go. Golden Tricks has fallen, and a very bad mistake by Beach King but I can't see any other faller at the third fence as they jump the fourth. Burnt Oak out clear from Earthstopper, Spartan Missile, Two Swallows, and over to Julian Wilson. Yes, Burnt Oak is clear from Earthstopper, Two Swallows on the far side with Midday Gun, and uh, the ones on the far side are clear as they come to the fifth, and Burnt Oak jumps it clear from Earthstopper second, then Two Swallows, Midday Gun, and Ashley House is in a prominent position, and they're all over that one as they run down towards the Beaches Brook with Burnt Oak and Peter Scudamore in a clear lead. Burnt Oak comes to Beaches, ten lengths clear, and flies over it. Earthstopper over in second, then Two Swallows, Midday Gun, then Spartan Missile, and uh, Midnight Love is a faller. Midnight Love is a faller and Clon Turton's a faller, 3 to 1 is a faller and Hazy Dawn is a faller as they run down towards the canal turn now having negotiated the seventh fence with no casualties and Burnt Oak is still well clear from Grease Paint now disputing second with Earth Stoppers then is Two Swallow and Gritter on the inside as they jump the canal turn and the lead is all over the canal turn and Burnt Oak well clear and uh, in second place, disputing it is uh, Grease Paint and Earthstopper, then Gritter, then Two Swallows and Imperial Black and Yaman and Corbia, Spartan Missile and Tacroy as we rejoin John Hammer. And over the tenth, Burnt Oak is over well clear of Earthstopper and Grease Paint a mistake, Gritter are a mistake, but he's all right. And as they go to the next open ditch, the 11th fence, Burnt Oak still well clear of Earthstopper, Two Swallows, Grease Paint, then Imperial Black just in behind them, Corbiers there and Grittar as well there and Silent Valley. And as they go to the 12th, it's Burnt Oak, still clear. Doesn't jump that very well. Our stopper is second, then Grease Paint, Spartan Missile, Two Swallows, Tacroy, then Grittar, Imperial Black, Corbier, Silent Valley, Canford Ginger, your man, Ashley House, then Broomy Bank, Midday Gun, and then Eliogarty and Lucky Vane and then comes points past, but as they head towards the 13th fence, over to Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, and it's Burnt Oak, still a long way clear. A long way clear of Earthstopper and Grease Paint, then the Grey Two Swallows on the inside, then comes Spartan Missile, then Tacroy. Behind Tacroy is Gritar, then comes Silent Valley, and then comes last year's winner, Corbier, just in behind the leaders with your man chasing him. Coming down now towards the next fence, and it's Burnt Oak, still a long way clear. 
of Earth Stopper and Grease Paint and Spartan Missile and Tacroy and Two Swallows and Gritter, who's on the inside. There be, he's being followed by Corbier. Coming down now towards the fence that will be the last on the next circuit and Burnt Oak still with a commanding advantage from Earth Stopper, Grease Paint, Two Swallows. Imperial Black not far behind the leaders on the inside is Gritter being chased by Corbier. Now they're coming to the chair, one of the most daunting in the race. This is fence number 15, the chair. And it's still burnt out clear of Grease Paint in second. Earth Stopper is third. Then Gritter on the far side and Two Swallows. Burnt out lands well in the lead from in second place and a faller there and uh, another another captain has gone there and also another faller there is uh, the, the Irish horse is Carl's Wager has gone there and there was Burnt Oak who cleared the water in the lead from in second place Earth Stopper then comes in third place Grease Paint for Tacroy five on the inside is Gritter six on the outside comes Spartan Missile, then Corbier and Two Swallows, behind them Eliogity, behind Eliogity is Brummy Bank, on the outside of Brummy Bank is Imperial Black, behind Imperial Black is Lucky Vane, then Canva Ginger, then your man, behind your man, and uh, joining them now on the far side is Silent Valley, with also up there Ashley House, and they're racing across the Melling Road now, with going up in the centre of the course, Earth Stopper, on the inside, Gritter. On the outside is Grease Paint and over to John Hanmer. And Burnt Oak still there on the wide outside too. And Earth Stopper's up with him. So it's Grease Paint and Tacroy and Points Pass and Spartan Missile. Then Lucky Vane and Corbier tracking the leaders towards the inner over the 18th. Earth Stopper, Grease Paint, Burnt Oak, Tacroy. Then Eliogity. Then Two Swallows and Gritar and Lucky Vane as they come to the big ditch and Grease Paint just about takes the lead but Earth Stopper jumps it better and a faller at that one was Kumbai and another faller would be Fortune Seeker as they jump the next and it's Earth Stopper in the lead then Spartan Missile, Gritar close up as we join Julian Wilson Yes, Grease Paint in the centre of the course Earth Stopper under the stand rails with Gritar Two swallows towards the centre as they jump the next one. And Elia Gart is right up with them on the far side as well. Lucky Vane made a slight mistake at that one, but they were all over it. And running down to Beaches for the second time. Now the leaders are very closely bunched. With two swallows, Elia Gart towards the outside. Grease paint towards the inside as they jump Beaches. Elia Gart over. Grease paint makes a mistake. Earth stops over in second. Then two swallows. Hello Dandy. Grittar's well there on the inside. Imperial Black was the faller at Beaches as they jumped the 23rd fence with Earth Stopper in the lead from Grease Paint and Eliogati. Behind that comes Grittard and Two Swallows, then Corbier, then Hello Dandy, then Broomy Bank and Lucky Vane and Fettered Friend as they come to the canal turn where Valerie Order and Bush Guide fell the first time round. But this time it's Grease Paint and Earth Stopper. Eliogati is third, Grittard is fourth, then the great Two Swallows. Behind those is Hello Dandy, then Corbier and Lucky Vane, then Broomy Bank and Fettered Friend as they jump Valentine's. Grease paint over, a length clear from Earth Stopper in second. Hello Gardy weakening now. Hello Dandy goes into third. In fifth is Grease pa is Gritter. Sixth is Corbier, then two swallows and Lucky Vane as we rejoin John Hammer. And a mistake there by Earth Stopper who was in second place and it's Grease paint out in front. Then Hello Dandy, Eliogity and Earth Stopper and Lucky Vane and Two Swallows last ditch four from home and Hello Dandy's gone right up to Grease Paint. Then in third place Earth Stopper four Eliogity five Lucky Vane six Two Swallows seven Corbier as they go to the third last and it's Grease Paint from Hello Dandy. Then in third place Earth Stopper four Eliogity five is Two Swallows. Silent Valley's been pulled up. Your man's well behind but as they go across the Melling Road it's. Hello Dandy going up to join Grease Paint, then Earth Stopper third, Lucky Vane four and over to Peter Ray Sullivan. And it's still Grease Paint, last year's second in the lead from Hello Dandy, last year's fourth. Then comes Earth Topper with quite a long gap behind him is Lucky Vane. Behind Lucky Vane is last year's winner, Corbier, making good progress. Egli Eliogat is just behind him, then the Grey Two Swallows, and then comes Fethard Friend, and then behind him is Gritter. As they come down to the second last fence in the national, it's Hello Dandy on the far side as we see them. On the near side is Grease Paint. There's little between the two, Grease Paint and the Sheepskin Nose Band. Hello Dandy lands in the lead though, Earth Stopper is third, and it's Hello Dandy in the lead as they come to the final fence in the 1984 national from Grease Paint. Earth Stopper is third, Corbier is now fourth, then comes 
up, Lucky Vane over the last fence. Hello Dandy lands in the lead from Grease Paint. Behind them come Earthstopper and then Corbier and then comes Lucky Vane racing towards the elbow now with just over a furlong to run of the National and it's Hello Dandy being challenged again by Grease Paint. Hello Dandy is wandering off a true line. Grease Paint sticking to the far rail as they come to the furlong pole. It's Grease Paint on the far side. Hello Dandy on the near side. Corbier is trying to get on terms with them. There is Grease Paint on the far side. Hello Dandy on the near side. There's nothing between them as they come to the line. Hello Dandy on the near side is just going to win it. Hello Dandy is one of Grease Paint. is second and third is Corbier. Fourth Lucky Vane and five Earth Stopper. That's the one, two, three, four, five. Then came two Swallows and behind him Fethard, Friend and Brummy Bank and Juvago de Nervi for France. Then Grittar and Hillis Lane and Tackroy and behind them came Beach King and W again and Ellie Ogerty and Spartan Missile and your man and this is the winner, Hello Dandy. Hello Dandy and Neil Doughty, his third attempt at the National, wins it at his third attempt, 26-year-old Neil Doughty and Gordon Richards who won it in 1978 with Lucius has won it in 1984 with the horse who was fourth in 1983, Hello Dandy, another triumph for the Sam Menelek who was responsible for rag trade. Hello Dandy, the winner of the Grand National. Hello Dandy, owned by Mr. Richard Shaw, trained by Gordon Richards and written by Neil Doughty. Second was number seven, Grease Paint, owned by Mr. Michael Smith, it trained by Dermot Weld and written by Tommy Carmody. Third was number one, Corbier, last year's winner, owned by Mr. B.R.H. Burrow, trained by Mrs. Jenny Pittman and written by Ben DeHaan. And fourth was number ten, Lucky Bay. So a tremendous triumph this for both Gordon Richards and his jockey Neil Doughty because this horse laid out for the national throughout the whole season had this one objective it's only his fifth run in public this season and he's emulated the stables lucius in 1978 uh, neil doughty after only his third attempt 26 years old returning to that hallowed winner's circle here at entry after the greatest steeplechase in the world Seagram Grand National winner. This improves on his gallant effort last year, went forth on ground, which was so much better suited to him. Gordon's been praying for dry ground, and this is just what this 10 year old needs to produce his best and what sparkling form he showed this afternoon. Looked ominously when he ran off a true line, approaching the elbow that uh, Grease Paint made a gallant bid to go one better than last year when he traced home Corbier, would regain the advantage. But he got a real sprint out of him, Neil, in the closing stages. And they really finished pretty fresh, these horses, after running four miles 856 yards over these 30 daunting fences. The official distance is four lengths and one and a half lengths. Neil returning to scale, to weigh in, to the plaudits. And there's the way It's formerly with the retired Newmarket trainer Bill Marshall who advised Gordon Richards very strongly to take him over. Now fashionable curly hair, the fashion that John Franklin introduced to the weighing room. As John himself, the uh, trendsetter. Had a good ride on Gritar, but I'm afraid the old horse isn't just quite what he was when he won this race in 82. Steve Smith Eccles there, Hill of Slains rider. Right uh, four national as follows. 
First, number 28, Hello Dandy, 13 to 1. Second, number 7, Grease Paint, the 9 to 1 favourite.